hey everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome i would love for you to stay a while by clicking that subscribe button and a little bell next to it so you don't miss another video and in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i made these three simple yet um, impactful beautiful diys and they can be used for just about anywhere and i'm going to be using them for my entryway table decor Before we get into the video, I just want to thank June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. June's Journey is a free hidden object murder mystery game. It is set in the 1920s and basically the main character is June and she's trying to solve her sister's murder. The entire game is full of really beautiful graphics, beautiful scenes, and it's very mentally challenging and stimulating but all the while it's still relaxing. I really love playing it at the end of the day after I put my big kids to bed and done like you know the night routines and everything and I just want to chillax and get away for a little bit and I really think you guys will enjoy playing this. I will have a link down below for you guys to check it out in the description so make sure you click that link and download it. It is absolutely free and yeah don't forget to check it out and I'll get right into the video. So to make this tree I'm going to be starting off with these embroidery hoops. And this 9 inch tray I believe is from the Dollar Tree and it fits perfectly into the embroidery hoop. I'm using two of the hoops and they're the inner rings not the one with the metal fastener. Next I'm using my metal ribbon and some thumbtacks to make the edge of the tray. So all I'm going to be doing is pushing them through all the little openings that are at the top of the metal ribbon. And I'm not going to be using every single one. I'm actually skipping a few because the embroidery hoop is very thin and the thumbtacks are pushing through and you can see it. They're coming all the way through the embroidery hoop. And because I don't want so many sharp edges uh, hanging out, I'm going to go ahead and just use it just to secure the metal ribbon on. And at the bottom, I push the tray in just enough so that the bottom thumbtacks, even though they're pushing through the embroidery hoop, they're not really going to be a problem because they're below the tray. And to hide all the extra holes, I'm just going to be using some flat back pearls to secure them. And on the pieces that are sticking out, I'm just using my pliers to trim them off. Next, I went ahead and spray painted this with the silver and rust-oleum spray paint. And then to add a little bit more detail, I'm using these um, totally dazzled brooches that have the pearl in the middle. And I'm going to be using them every two and a half openings. I'll just remove the back of the brooch and then attach it with some hot glue. And for all the areas where I have the thumbtacks and the areas that don't have the thumbtacks, I'm just going to be using again the flat back pearls and you will see the final result right here. I think this looks really beautiful, it can be used just about anywhere. It has that really nice vintage um, rustic glam kind of feel to it so I really liked it. And it can use, you can use it in your bathroom, on a side table, on your entryway table, and just about anywhere. Now for the next DIY, I'm using, I believe, these candle holders from the Dollar Tree and these tea light holders from the Dollar Tree and some totally dazzled bling wrap to secure the bottom. Not secure the bottom, to embellish the bottom. So I just cut this piece and I cut it into strips that were going to fit on the top of the tea lights. And then I'm going to be using this clear grip by Gorilla and adding a strip of it all along the edge of the tea light holders. And I have three of those on different heights. And I'm also going to add a little bit of hot glue to give me a more immediate um, stick while the other glue dries off. So I did remove all the stickers on this. I should be so proud, you guys should be so proud of me. Next, I took it out and I spray painted it with this Rust-Oleum white spray paint. And then the next thing was to add the diamond wrap to the edge of the tea light at the bottom. And here's the final result. I think this looks really beautiful. I really like this sheen. I use a high gloss um, white finish. I styled it a couple of different ways. I'm using it to hold some topiaries, but you can use it to actually hold, you know, makeup brushes. You can use it in your bathroom. You can use it just about anywhere. 
that you want to have either a container or you can use it as um, a candle holder as well. For the final DIY, I'm going to be making this stand. I have this picture that I got from the Dollar Tree. It has these little wood ends on the corners that secure the whole picture in place. So in order to um, fix that, I'm going to be using a little bit of foam board to add to the middle. So I just measured it so that it would fit on the inside of the picture frame, traced it out and then cut a piece of foam board. And the next thing I did was to cover it with some marble contact paper. The marble contact paper I'm using happened to be the same one I'm using as my background for my um, craft table. But you can use any one. I will link some different options down below for you guys as well. So this contact paper is really great. I get it at Walmart. It's super durable, very inexpensive, and very easy to work with. It's repositionable, so that's why I like using it. And I just basically covered the foam board and make sure it was going to fit inside of the frame. Once that was done, I went ahead and took these massagers from the Dollar Tree and just came up with an arrangement and glued it together to create the base of my stand. Now I am using hot glue here. You can definitely use E6000 or something stronger if you would like. Once that was glued together, I added glue to the top and then I inverted the picture frame and glued it to the top part of the massagers, making sure it was at the center. Then I took it out and spray painted it gold, top and bottom, inserted the foam board, and at the very edge, just to finish it off, I added one strip of the Totally Dazzled Diamond Wrap. Just use some hot glue to secure it in place. And here's the final result. I also added some Totally Dazzle brooches to the front of it just to give it some more interest and just kind of give it a nice finishing touch which I think looks really beautiful. You could actually put something else all along the edge if you wanted to. Um, the possibilities are kind of endless with this one. It just goes with your imagination. And that's it you guys. I thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out June's Journey which I will link down below in the description box. And I will talk to you in my next one. God bless and bye bye.